And the eight-mile race is recognized as one of the top foot races in the United States with nearly 30,000 runners participating this year. KITV 4's Ryan Kalei Suji has been live from the starting line all morning long and joins us once again from Aloha Tower. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, guys. That's right. We are here at the start. A lot of excitement going on here. We are minutes away from the official start. In fact, right now, Mayor Kirk Caldwell is addressing the runners uh, from his post on top of one of those bus stations here. We also have more than 22,000 runners getting ready to participate in the annual event. I have with us this morning uh, members of the Veterans United company. And I uh, wanted to ask you guys, uh, what did you guys, why are you guys out here this morning? You guys are doing this as a company and as a group. At Veterans United Home Loans of Hawaii, you know, uh, one of our core values is to be passionate and have fun. So not only do we help veterans and uh, get out in the community, but we also run together, we work together, we play together, man. That's what we do. And, and so how does, you know, doing something like this help you folks, Tony, as a, as a uh, company and as an organization? Well, there's no doubt something like this we just brings us closer together, you know. We're going to sacrifice 8.2 miles. Come on now. If you can't get close within 8.2 miles, when are you going to get close, right? Do you guys have any sort of a goal in mind in terms of like how fast you want to finish this? Uh, don't lose nobody. That's the key. Yeah, don't lose nobody. About an hour and 45 is what we want to do it in. Yeah. And this is not the first time you guys have participated, correct? You guys done this before? No, we've done this as a group before. This is uh, they've done it a few more times than me, but this is my second consecutive year running with this company. So last year we finished together. This year we're gonna do the same thing, man. Well, have fun out there. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, again, a lot of groups like this excited. Again, this race getting underway. Uh, at 7 o'clock this morning, over 24,000 people participating. And we spoke to Karakai earlier about the significance of the race, not only for runners, but also for the nonprofits out there, as they have donated close to $10 million within 29 years of this existence. So it's a really incredible story to see what this race has evolved into, starting some 10 years ago with Karakai starting it to what it is today. Quite a scene down here as the runners are getting ready uh, for what could be a very windy start to this great Aloha run. Back to you guys. Speaking of windy, we're expecting a sustained wind gust of about 45 miles per hour. How are the runners preparing and dealing with the wind conditions there? Well, right now, things have actually died down a little, but it's those gusts that we see coming occasionally. And because of the uh, configuration of the buildings here in downtown Honolulu, some of those guests, gusts are getting uh, rather strong. So they said they don't expect any record-setting uh, times this year, but it might actually help them push them from behind if the wind comes from the other direction. And Ryan, it is always wonderful to see those military groups in the beginning all running together. It is an amazing sight. And Ryan, we'll check back with you in just a few minutes as we start the race. Thanks a lot, Ryan.